Hi guys, Ben here. How are you all doing? It is match day. Liverpool back in Champions League action and it's Porto away from home in the first leg of the last 16. Uh, we got up at half five in the morning. We got our coach uh, to, to Stansted Airport at half six in the morning. We got our flight at half nine in the morning. We arrived in Porto at about noon. It's now uh, coming up towards half past one in the afternoon. We're in our hotel room. Um, in pretty much slap bang in the middle of Porto. Um, it's not the most glamorous hotel of all time because, you know, budgeting constraints, but we're here um, and yeah, we're here in good time. It's absolutely pissing it down. We've well and truly swapped the clear blue skies of the United Kingdom for the damp, grey, dull uh, skies of Porto in Portugal. But Nonetheless, um, seen loads and loads of Liverpool fans here already. Uh, I think it's going to be a cracking afternoon. Uh, we've got six hours to kill before kickoff, so obviously uh, we're going to be heading down to the main square and having a few drinks, uh, enjoying ourselves uh, in good company. And yeah, then we'll t take ourselves to the ground. Probably won't get there too late because um, of what happened in Sevilla, but we'll get in there, uh, set our stall out, and hopefully um, come back home with a good result. Um, and then, you know, maybe a few beers afterwards. But we're here, we're excited. Uh, obviously, having watched this, uh, having, you know, by the time you watch this, you will know the result. I'm feeling pretty good. I think we can get at least a score draw, maybe even better. Uh, let's see how we get on. <laughs> The morning after the night before it's the morning after Porto nil Liverpool five and I am intact somehow um, Wow what a night it could not have gone any better in any way shape or form um, we beat Porto five nil um, and then we had the greatest night of our lives uh, we really really did I'm upset that I didn't get any footage of it not that I would just ever think about getting my phone out and recording it on a night out but um, I wish I could have sort of encapsulated how great Porto was on a Wednesday night um, Honestly, probably one of the best trips I've ever, ever had. One of the best nights I've ever, ever had. Um, Liverpool were absolutely sumptuous. I, you will know how we were. You will know how it went. You will know what James Milner did on that football pitch. You will know what Sadio Mane did. You will know what Roberto Firmino is all about. We all know how much Junior Van Adam dug in. You will know how Virgil van Dijk was an absolute rock at the heart of that defence. You will know it was absolute perfection uh, at the Estadio de Drago or whatever the fuck that stadium is called. One thing I will say is that the Porto fans were absolutely sensational. I've never seen support like it. Uh, the full-time whistle went, and it was rapturous, rapturous applause from the Porto fans. It was, they were letting off fireworks. They were in their numbers behind that goal. Every single one of them was on their feet applauding, and it was, it was it, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Um, so, honestly, fair play to them. But they are out of the Champions League. Liverpool are through to the quarterfinals. 5-0 win over Porto. We had the night of our lives. And we're going to have another one in the quarterfinals. Um, 
next month. That is something to be excited about. Um, let's have a good day in Porto and let's celebrate the Reds being among the contenders to win this European Elite Tournament. New Balance Store Legends. Just bought myself a Porto Polo shirt for 48 euros. Um, most hungover man in Portugal. Uh, had the biggest McDonald's in Portugal. Spent over 10 euros on McDonald's. Um, and I hope you're well. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, what a win. Hang over, gentlemen. First thing I Thoughts on uh, Bobby Firmino? Oh, he's just, you know, the best striker of all time. He should be. So in Porto Airport now, ready to go home. Uh, flight is in just over three hours' time. Been in here for a while already, just just because we're hung over and we just wanted to sort of lounge around all day. Didn't have the energy to lounge, uh, to sort of mooch about Porto for much longer, but a place I'll definitely come back to. Um, and I'm looking forward to the next European away trip. Hopefully it is a European one. Hopefully it is a Barcelona or a Real Madrid or a, or a Bayern Munich or, or a, you know, Naples or something like that. Um, as much as I'd love United away or something like that, um, I just fancy one, one more of these. Um, obviously we're not through yet. I, I know I've said we are through and let's face it, we are, but, um, yeah, there's still their job to be done, so um, don't want to come off too arrogant in that regard, but it's hard not to be able to just beat Porto 5-0 in their own backyard. Wonderful trip. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope the Reds continue this wonderful form. And, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, lots more vlogs like this to come. Lots more regular Liverpool content, of course. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Loads of content from the Porto game and other stuff um, is on there. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time up the mighty five goal reds.